Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a bootable Linux onto a USB stick from Windows, the easy way. Uh, before continuing, you do need a at least a one gigabyte USB stick. If you don't happen to have one gig, you can get away with as little as a 128 meg stick, and I'll show you how to get around that. But the reason I say you should have a one gigabyte stick is that most Linux distributions are CD sized around 600 to 700 megabytes depending on the distribution so uh, it is recommended that you have at least that size or larger. I have here the uh, site for where to get this utility. It's for Windows or Linux. It's called UnetBootin. I don't know if it's actually pronounced like that but that's the way that I say it. It is a uh, it's simply put an application to install various Linux or BSD distributions to a partition or USB drive. So in our case we're going to use a USB stick. And all it is is just a single executable file off of sourceforge.net. When you launch it, let's go ahead and launch that, it looks like this. What you should do before launching the application is put it, uh, put your USB stick into the drive, excuse me, into your computer first so that this application will recognize it. And then all you have to do is just pick your distribution and then pick your version. So I'm going to go ahead and select Ubuntu and then version 8.04 live. What this will do is put the 8.04 distribution on the USB stick, make it bootable, partition it properly, and that's it. Now when I do it this way and hit OK at the bottom, it will go out to the internet, find the distribution, download it, and push it to the stick. If you already have the ISO image, you can just click disk image over here and hit this button to select it off your local system and then push it that way. Either way, you can do it. Now, I said a moment ago, if you happen to have a smaller USB stick, um, do you have other options? Yes, you do. Instead of Ubuntu, you could use, let me just scroll up a little bit here, Damn Small Linux. Damn Small Linux is... Uh, will fit even on something as small as a 128 megabyte USB stick. So even if you have one that small but no smaller, you could actually push damn small Linux to it. Or the other one, which is also on the list here, is Puppy Linux. You could also put this, I believe you could fit this on a 128 or a 256. I'm not sure what the minimum size requirement is, but I know it's pretty small. It might fit on 128 or I know it'll fit on a 256. But anyway, let's go back to Ubuntu here, and if I go ahead and click that, do 804 Live, and download it from the internet, I just hit OK. And what it will do is, it actually goes to the source, which is releases.ubuntu.com, 804, it gets the latest ISO, it will download the whole thing, and then afterwards it will push it to the, well, actually it will partition the stick first, and then uh, do the appropriate stuff, and then push the image over to the stick, and then after it's done, you just boot from the stick. That's it. Now this is assuming your computer can boot from a USB stick. If your computer was built in the last four or five years, you should be able to do it. I do know that most Dell Inspiron laptops will do it. I think Dell XPSs will do it. Uh, I know Dell Dimensions will do it, and uh, uh, the later models anyway, and uh, several others. And obviously if you have a custom build computer, your motherboard BIOS settings should have the ability to boot from USB. Uh, when you're in there, by the way, what you can do is select boot from USB FDD or HDD or I think there's also USB CD-ROM. One of the three will work, so if you have a custom build computer, you should have those three boot options for that particular uh, port. Well, I know one of them is going to work, so uh, just keep on trying, and I think one of, and maybe you'll get lucky the first time, maybe not. It depends on how your system is configured. But anyway, you just wait for this to complete, and you're done. And then uh, go ahead and reboot, and it should work like a charm. When you boot it, this is the same as a live mode, remember. So uh, it's, it's the same as if you were booting from a CD. And then you can opt to install it. If you want a full version, you need a 4 gigabyte USB stick or greater, uh, or you can just use Puppy Linux, which will remember everything on the stick. You can do it that way too, or damn small Linux for that matter. And that's it. Take it easy.